In the cold, dark expanse between the stars, Voyager 2 drifts onward, our silent emissary in the cosmic ocean. For nearly 50 years, it's been our eyes and ears, exploring worlds and venturing farther than we ever imagined. Its mission was a testament to human curiosity, a message in a bottle cast into the universe. But all journeys end. Recently, Voyager 2 sent its final transmission. That last signal changed everything we thought we knew about our place in the cosmos. Imagine watching a ship vanish over the horizon, waiting for one last wave goodbye. For us, that ship was Voyager 2. Launched in 1977, it carried the golden record, a greeting to any civilization that might find it. But before it faded, it had one last story to tell, not about its past, but about the very fabric of space itself. This wasn't a simple farewell. It was a profound revelation. We once pictured space as a perfect vacuum, but Voyager 2's journey revealed a place full of invisible forces and surprises. Its instruments, like sensitive whiskers, detected something utterly unexpected in its final moments. This isn't just a story about a machine. It's about us, our relentless need to know what lies beyond. Voyager 2 is an extension of our senses, reaching across billions of miles. Its final message is a gift, a dramatic final chapter in one of humanity's greatest adventures. And as with all great discoveries, it leaves us with more questions than answers. The story of its last signal is the beginning of a new era in astronomy. The universe, it seems, is far stranger than we ever imagined. What is Voyager 2? A marvel of engineering, launched in 1977, built to last five years, yet it's still making history. Its mission to take advantage of a rare planetary alignment, slingshotting from one giant world to the next. Voyager 2 carried cameras, spectrometers, magnetometers, and a nuclear battery, its steady power source in the darkness. Most famously, it carried the golden record, a time capsule of Earth, curated by Carl Sagan's team, with images, music, and greetings in 55 languages. This was our handshake to the cosmos, a hopeful gesture to connect with whatever might be out there. Voyager 2 is more than a scientific instrument. It's a cultural ambassador. It's the only spacecraft to visit Uranus and Neptune, revealing new moons, rings, and wild weather. It showed us Neptune's great dark spot and Uranus's tilted magnetic field. Every planet it visited, it rewrote the textbooks. Voyager 2 transformed distant points of light into real, dynamic worlds. It didn't just explore the solar system, it unveiled it for all of humanity. Its journey is a testament to our drive to explore. Voyager 2's journey was a cosmic dance with gravity. In 1979, it flew by Jupiter, braving intense radiation and discovering volcanic activity on Io, the first seen beyond Earth. At Saturn, it revealed the complexity of the rings and studied Titan's thick, hazy atmosphere. Each flyby opened a new chapter in our understanding of the solar system. In 1986, it became the only probe to visit Uranus, discovering new moons, rings, and a bizarre tilted magnetic field. Then, in 1989, it reached Neptune, unveiling the fastest winds in the solar system and geysers on Triton. After Neptune, its planetary mission ended. Voyager 2 was cast into the interstellar void on a new mission beyond the edge of our solar system. Its journey through the giants changed our view of the solar system forever. But its greatest discovery was yet to come. The real mystery awaited in the darkness beyond. After Neptune, Voyager 2 became an interstellar scout, aiming to cross the heliopause, the boundary where our sun's influence ends. The sun's solar wind carves out a bubble in the galaxy called the heliosphere. The heliopause is its outer edge. Crossing it is like leaving a calm harbor for the open sea. For decades, Voyager 2 flew toward this invisible wall, its power slowly fading as its nuclear battery decayed. Engineers shut down instruments one by one, conserving energy for as long as possible. 
By 2025, Voyager 2 was over 13 billion miles from Earth. Communicating with it meant waiting 38 hours for a round-trip signal, like hearing a whisper from another world. In 2023, a brief loss of contact reminded us how fragile this connection was. The end was near. Power would soon run out. Scientists prepared for the final transmission, a last postcard from the edge. The buildup was somber but filled with anticipation. Voyager 2's long silence was about to begin. Its final message would be its most important. The world waited, listening for one last signal. What would it reveal? In the summer of 2025, the moment arrived. NASA's team gathered, awaiting Voyager 2's last transmission. The probe used its final energy to send a compressed burst of data, its last scientific breath. The signal, faint but precise, arrived as expected. The data included readings from the plasma science instrument, magnetometer, and cosmic ray detector, Voyager's senses in the void. Scientists expected a simple confirmation of a quiet, uniform interstellar environment, but the data showed a sudden spike in plasma density and wild magnetic fluctuations. It was as if Voyager 2 had struck an invisible wall or whirlpool. The final message was chaotic, turbulent, and completely unexpected. Voyager 2's last act was to deliver a cosmic mystery. Voyager 2's final message stunned the scientific world. At first, many suspected a malfunction, but checks confirmed the data was real. The supposedly calm interstellar medium was anything but. Plasma density spiked a hundredfold, magnetic fields twisted unpredictably. The edge of our heliosphere wasn't a smooth boundary, it was a chaotic, violent region. Perhaps the interstellar medium is filled with dense clouds or turbulent magnetic filaments. Voyager 2 may have grazed one of these unknown structures. Our map of the local galaxy is incomplete. This single burst of data opened a new field of inquiry. Instead of answers, Voyager 2 left us with profound new questions. The universe, it seems, is far more dynamic and mysterious than we thought. What does Voyager 2's final message mean? It reveals our solar system isn't in a quiet suburb, but a turbulent galactic neighborhood. The dense plasma wall Voyager 2 encountered could be the edge of a local interstellar cloud, an unseen river of gas and dust. This environment shapes our heliosphere, our shield against cosmic radiation. If the interstellar medium is full of such structures, it affects not just us, but every star system's habitability. The cosmic environment may play a bigger role in the story of life than we realized. Voyager 2's last gift is a lesson in humility. We have so much more to learn. With its final breath, Voyager 2 gave us a new map, one marked with mysteries and dragons. The challenge now is to explore this strange new territory. Voyager 2 is silent now, drifting through the Milky Way, a ghost ship with a golden message. But its legacy lives on in the knowledge and inspiration it gave us. It passed the baton to new missions, like Parker Solar Probe and James Webb, continuing our cosmic journey. Voyager 2's story is a testament to human curiosity and ingenuity. Its shocking final message is not an ending, but an invitation. It dares us to build better instruments and send them farther. The universe is a living story, and we are privileged to witness a part of it. The questions Voyager 2 raised will fuel science for decades. Our journey into the cosmic ocean has only just begun. The stars are calling. We must go.